Hey cooks, I'm so excited because today we get to play with a brand new set of Henkel knives. Cutlery and knives are one of my favorite topics um, in terms of kitchen equipment. I love knives. I am a knife geek, right? So today we're going to be looking at the Elon uh, set. This is Henkel's Elon Forged Knives. This is a 20 piece set. Oh, and it looks beautiful, right? Join me. Let's take our first look at these knives. So yeah, we have a set of Henkel's knives here. Now, you might have seen this. We unboxed a whole bunch of Henkel's products a few weeks ago, and this is the set of knives. I just want to thank Henkel's for sending this. I am absolutely blown away because I love their equipment, right? You will see me. I'm a Zwillig and Henkel's fan true and true down to the bone right and i'm so excited we're going to take a look at the set of knives so this is a 20 piece set of knives i'll put a link to this knives down in the description uh, so let me let you uh in on what is in this so we have the knife block obviously right so we have a pairing a serrated utility a prep knife, a boning knife, utility knife, a santoku, a chef's, a bread, a carving knife, and eight steak knives. So one of the great things about this set is there's not a lot of, you know, miscellaneous pieces you're really not going to use. Oh, and it has some kitchen sears. All these pieces you're going to use on a regular basis, right? And that's what one thing that's so great about these knives. So let's get this baby open. Okay, I got a lemonade today. Mmm. Thank you, Boo. Sure. <laughs> let's see what we have here. Okay, we have a little uh, use and care guide. We have a little product registration guide. Ooh, we have a little block. Whoa. Is that a little block? It's a big block. Whoa. Okay, we have some knives. Okay, so let's start with the block. This block is beautiful. I love the color. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful blog. So you can put this uh, on your counter. Your knives are ready for you. Um, they have the nice little Henkel symbol. Really, really nice. Um, nice solid block. Okay, let me open this baby up. And we'll see what we have. I'm a little excited because I love cutlery. Ooh, 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 all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really nice set of kitchen shears. I'm telling you, I'm always losing my kitchen shears, and I think it's because Eric takes them out and I don't know where he takes them. I gotta cut the line on my uh, weed eater. <laughs> yeah, so I lose my sits my shears so this is perfect here yay <laughs> oh let's see okay so we have a honing rod everybody needs a honing rod this is how you keep this doesn't necessarily sharpen your knives but it keeps the edge aligned and it makes it appear or feel sharper um yeah, so these must be the steak knives. So this probably goes there. <laughs> so here's our steak knives. Woo! Serrated. Nice. So the handle is, um, they're full tang, so that means the metal goes all the way down to the edge of the knife. Wow, these are really, really nice. 
We have eight of these, which is great because I, I have a bunch of mismatched steak knives um, and they need to go <laughs> that we use on an everyday basis. I've literally had them for like, I don't know. 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely time for some new ones. Bringing in the new year with new steak knives. And the steak knives go here. Ooh, nice. Really nice. Sweet. Okay, up next we have, wow. Let me just take all these out. This is a big set. It's a huge set. So we have, this is a serrated, this is probably a utility knife. Look at that, beautiful. Um, this here, I would imagine it is a bread knife. No, this looks like a slicer. And we have that knife. Ooh, this looks like our chef's knife. Be careful. Yeah, this looks like our chef's knife. You can rock nicely on it. I like it. Uh, let's see what this is. Bread knife. Yay. Yay. Ooh, this is bony. Um, wow, this, this looks like a prep knife to me. This is amazing. I don't have a prep knife and I've always wanted one. And here we go, there's our prep knife. That's sort of like an all-purpose little knife. Here's our Santoku. Nice. Nice. Oh yeah, it's prep knife. And here, this is our pairing. Nice, so pairing's great for cutting small fruits, um, you can peel an apple with it, and there's our pairing. So what holes do they go into? You can start off with the big one first, maybe. Yeah, the wide ones are going to be our Santoku and our Chef. Um, I think a lot of our bigger knives are going to be on this side. Bread. Um, kind of looks like a slicer. Utility or utility knife. Oh gosh, I love this. I wanted a prep knife for a long while. Boning and pairing. Yay! Yeah. Look at this set. Okay, before we do anything, I haven't washed them yet. We're gonna do a little paper paper cut test. So here's the chef's knife. Here's a piece of ordinary copy paper. Oh. Yeah. Who needs scissors? Yeah. Right out of the box, sharpness. It's very nice. Santoku. shape of that. I've wanted a prep knife for a long time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's wash these up and cut some real food.
Okay, so we're going to do a little prep here. I have a few dishes that I'm going to make this week. And so I want to prep some of the stuff so I'm ready for the cook, right? Um, but very first, I want a little snack. So I have an apple, right? This is a Fuji apple. <laughs> um, this is my Hinkle's cutting board. I love this. It's got a non-skid thing on the bottom to keep it from moving around. I'm really enjoying this cutting board. So I'll put a link to that in the description. So this is a prep knife. And a prep knife is good because it's sort of a small, uh, small, nimble knife that you can use on a lot of different kind of tasks like this. It's sort of an all-purpose mini knife. So one of the great things I can already see about the Hinkles is it's pretty comfortable for me on, in my hand. I really, really like this prep knife. Nice. So we're going to start our prep. You have to feed the cook first, right? <laughs> so my current knives are so bad, I was having trouble even cutting a simple apple yesterday. Um, nice. So we got the big game coming up soon. And you might want to make a nice apple pie for the big game, right? Or you can just cut some apple slices for a healthy snack instead of putting down, you know, because during the big game, you have a tendency of putting down things you really shouldn't like, be like. Like ribeye? Mmm. <laughs> Very nice. Mmm. Delicious Fuji apple. Um. So you could just put out a nice platter of chopped fruit. It'll keep you from eating the chips, right? During the big game. So, like I said, these prep knives are really good. They're very versatile. Because here we have some mushrooms. I'm going to make sort of a chicken uh, rice casserole in a brazier. Uh, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. So we're going to cut up some mushrooms. Very nice. So this is, these prep knives are really good because they're really nimble and um, they can do nice small jobs like this. Love it. I think this is going to be now one of my new go-to knives. So next up, let's try a tomato. We're going to be using this utility knife with tomatoes. You kind of want to cut things with a serrated knife. So let's see how this does. Nice. These are really uh, firm tomatoes. So one of the things when you're cutting tomatoes is you don't want a knife that squishes. You want a knife that can cut firmly so you don't destroy your uh, tomato. Very nice. That gets an A for me. <laughs> Look at that beautiful tomato. Thank you. <laughs> Eric loves just, all I got to do, give him a quick side dish. I just give him tomatoes and uh, salt and pepper them, and he'll eat fresh tomatoes as a side dish. Mm -hmm. Okay, I also have a little chicken stew on the brain. So I'm going to take the Santoku knife. That's what this is. And we're going to cut some celery. So this is a pretty simple job for this. Um, so... These knives have a bolster, so if you like uh, that sort of feeling of your hand being protected from the bolster, this is a great set for that. Um, some people like bolsters, some people don't. Some people it doesn't matter. To me, it doesn't really matter. Um, it does give you that little feeling of protection for your finger on this side of the blade, um, and so a lot of people like that. So. This is a Santoku. It does rock a little bit, 
But really the purpose of the Santoku is a push cut. So we have our celery and you're just going to push. So you're going to push as opposed to rock. It's sometimes hard to get that down, but when you choke up on the knife and you do a pinch grip and you push this way instead of going this way, that's a push cut. And Santokus are great for that. Here I am. My, my, my natural thing is to go back to rocking um, because they're flat on the bottom. This one you can, look, I can rock with it. And I have quite a bit of celery here. So, oh, you hear that sound? I like that. <laughs> you can rock with this knife as well. So you have a classic push cut and rocking. Very nice. Very, very nice angles. Oof. Very nice and very sharp. Right out of the box. Nice. Awesome. So next I'm going to cut some zucchini. So I'm going to surprise even Eric because I told him I was going to use the chef. I'm going to use the prep, right? This is showing how versatile a prep knife is. You can use it even on larger vegetables, such as some zucchini. Very nice. That's what a prep knife can do. But you can also move to your classic chef. This is the knife that I'm used to using. It's a classic chef. I learned rocking because I took a few culinary classes at a community college. It was a French uh, focus program and I learned on a Western style knife. I learned on a chef's knife. Um, wow. This is really nice. Knife. It's really nice. I like that sound. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Nice. So the prep can go, prep is a really good all-purpose knife and it's great for someone particularly with small hands. So we got some onion action. Cut through the root, the stem. This is where I'm going to start crying. <laughs> And this is where the chef's knife shines because it has a tip for cutting this way. And it rocks for cutting this way. Leave that uh, root in there to keep it together. Just like that. Very nice. Okay, it's chicken time. We're going to be using the chef's knife. And I'm going to put on some little gloves here. These gloves, I got a brand new box in there. Blue! Smart. Purpley blue. <laughs> this is what they had, so. I've got two big boxes of these. So we're going to use the chef's knife. I have some boneless, skinless chicken breast here. These are the size of little dinosaurs. And 
what we're going to do is I'm going to cut some cutlets because I want to make a chicken and rice casserole and so I want some thin cut cutlets for them. So I'm just going to get rid of blood vessels and fat. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this not pleasantries to eat. <laughs> um, I'm going to trim this little edge here. These are sort of the family pack at our grocery store and they don't trim them as well. Um, okay. Thin cut cutlets. We've done this before. We're going to cut them this way. We're going to end up two thin cuts. One of the problems with chicken breasts is they're thinner on this side and thicker on this side. This is where like the wing and stuff is, right? And they're thicker on this side. So when you try to cook them, they'll cook unevenly because you got this big thick piece on one side and the thin piece on the other. So they cook at different uh, speeds. So a lot of times I will cut them this way into cutlets so it thins out this thick end. Fairly easy to do. You can buy chicken breasts already cut into cutlets, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to pay double per pound. So at my local grocery store, these run, well, they did run $1.99 a pound, but now they're like $2.98 a pound. If you buy the cutlets, they'll be like five bucks a pound. So that right there, you just saved yourself 50% by cutting them yourself. Um, as soon as I start adding the letters N-O-N, they double the price. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that here. And you get the hang of it. Sometimes you gotta correct yourself and you don't end up with like perfectly, uh, see my little cut marks? Does gonna matter to me because this is going into a Casserole. I, I won't tell anyone. No. Maybe if you have guests over, you could do a little better job than I'm doing. But the knife's doing a great job. I'm having absolutely no trouble cutting these cutlets. So we have two pieces that are relatively the same size on each side, and they will cook a lot more evenly. So my thoughts on this set of knives. Let me take my gloves off. My hands are clean underneath. My thought on these knives, I think this is a really fun set. It had everything I think you need to get going. It had the steak knives, it has the santoku, the chefs, it has that prep knife. You have your, um, your serrated utility knife, your shears. There's nothing in here that are like filler pieces. These are, this is a really great set and you get the block too. Um, I know this is available at Costco online. I don't know if it would be at your local Costco, but I know on their website they have them, but check your local store and see if they have them. I'll put links down in this des description. So I just want to thank Hankles for sending this and allowing us to try this out. You will see these knives in the future on Amy Learns to Cook. I like this set. Um, it's a nice budget price. It's under $200 for this set at Costco. Um, and it's amazing. I think you can't go wrong with it. It did everything I needed it to do. It's nice and sharp out of the box. And um, it's a really nice budget friendly set that has pretty much everything you need. So Hankles, thank you for sending this. This was an absolute fantastic joy to uh, try these knives out. It's been a while since we have did a cut test and review of some knives and they are one of my funnest gadgets for the kitchen. So thank you again, Hankles, and I hope you enjoy this. This is the Elon 20 piece set.